Hi everyone, today I'm going to teach on the subject called Yoga. Uh, Set up our spirit revealed to me that this is something I must teach on. We're going to see if Christians are allowed to do Yoga or where and where Yoga comes from. The definition of Yoga in a nutshell, Yoga is a practice or discipline one utilizes in order to achieve a profound transformation of consciousness. This transformation is accomplished when the seeker realizes the distinction between the ego-dominated physical body and the infinite qualities of the soul. With this knowledge, the psychic and intuitive aspects of the individual are heightened and there is the knowing of oneness and connection to the workings of the universe. At a certain point, one arrives at the place of liberation from self and in union with self, the unity of oneself will, with all there is. Now the word yoga means to yoke with Brahman. Brahman is a universal spirit. They call God or as I call him Satan. Now for Hindus the god of yoga is called Shiva. Shiva is one of Hindus three most powerful gods. Now Shiva is better known as the god of destruction. Shiva's daughter is called Kali which is the god of death. So you see that the god of yoga is called Shiva and his daughter Kali, the gods of death and destruction. These are just covered names for Satan, who comes to steal, kill and destroy. It is thus clear that you yoke yourself with Satan when you practice yoga. The breathing patterns together with the stances opens the door for Satan and his demons to infiltrate your life without you knowing it. But before I get carried away here, let us see how deep this rabbit hole goes. Satan uses the same carrot in front of people's noses today as he used with Eve in Genesis. He told her she can be like God. Yoga does the same thing. Yoga says you can attain a higher existence through yoga, being one with the universe. It is also the purpose of yoga and Satan to focus your mind on yourself. It is all about yourself and it draws you away from relationship with your Creator. Yoga is just another religion through which Satan wants to replace the Heavenly Father's will for mankind. Now yoga is part of the Hindu religion as I said. It does not just affect the body. It affects also your menta mentally and spiritually. Yoga is based on Eastern metaphysical assumptions designed to aid in self-enlightenment and self-realization. I just want to mention here that any realization of self outside of our Creator's boundaries will result in opening doors to evil spirits and Satan in your life. Now let's proceed. What's the goal of yoga? An altered state of consciousness uniting practitioner with the pantheistic God. Pantheistic means the doctrine that God is the transcendent reality of which man, nature and the material universe are manifestations. Any doctrine that regards God as identical with the material universe or the forces of nature. Readiness to worship all or a large number of gods. That is what pantheistic God means. It is the New Age doorway this. That is why there are so many focus on you and only you. For you are a God, which is a message you start to hear in many Christian churches also these days. When you focus on yourself all the time, thinking you're a god, then Satan has attained his goal with you, which is pride and rebellion. For Satan knows our creator, Yahuwah, rejects the proud and rebellious. He only gives grace to the humble. Yoga is like ice cream. You have a type for every type of person. A whole range of flavors to attempt every soul to participate. Now number one is called Karma Yoga. It is spiritual union through correct conduct. Now here already Satan goes against scripture that says without Yahushua Messiah we can do nothing. And by grace we are saved through faith not by our own good works. Number two is called Bhapti Yoga. Bhapti Yoga focuses on spiritual union through devotion to a guru. Here Satan uses the same trick he tried on Yahushua Messiah by telling him worship me and I will give all the kingdoms of the world to you. Yahushua replied we are only to worship Yahuwah. Number three is Yana Yoga. 
Spiritual union through hidden knowledge. The word hidden tells you already it is wrong and evil. Darkness must be exposed by the light, which is the law. And scripture says there is nothing hidden that will not be exposed. Yahuwah don't believe in hidden knowledge. Yahuwah gives freely to all who desire more revelation, if they stay in his will. Number four is called Raja Yoga. It is the spiritual union through mental control. Again, it is focusing on you and what you can do. We read in Romans 8 verse 7 to 8, Because the common mind is enmity against Yahuwah, for it is not subject to the law of Yahuwah, neither indeed can be. So then they that are in the flesh cannot please Yahuwah. You see here, it also mentions the carnal mind, the mind not liberated or changed by Yahuwah's spirit, which is the mind Raja Yoga focuses on, the spiritual union through mental control. So you see now why we need to be saved by grace and not our abilities, because we can't please Yahuwah on, in our own abilities. It's impossible. Number five, Hava Yoga. Spiritual union through control or meditation. Now meditation here means you empty your mind, which will in itself open doors for demons to enter for you, lose control of your mind if you empty it. And what I mean with lose control of your mind is you open doors for evil spirits to enter your mind, to attack you and make you see things and so forth that's not real. It is the opposite of meditation on Yahuwah and His Word. For with our Creator we fill our minds with His revelations and glory and realization of His awesomeness. We don't empty our minds as Christians. Number six, the Kundalini Yoga. It is a spiritual union through focusing on inner energy. Any energy that does not come from our Creator is evil. The set apart spirit is the only energy and assistant we must have in our daily life. She can assist in everything we need and need to do. Number seven, Tantric Yoga. Now a lot of you might have heard of Tantric Yoga before. It is a spiritual union through sexual practices. This also goes against our Creator's will and desire for us. Besides that we are not supposed to fornicate or commit adultery, it is all about self-gratification and focuses on self and this life, forgetting about life after death. Scripture says we must focus on the things that is above in heaven and not on the things of this earth. So you see, I told you there is a flavor for every type of person. Yoga philosophy is based on the reincarnation concept. Now this idea is against scripture already. Hebrews 9 verse 27 says, and as it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this the judgment. You see, you have only one life on this earth, not many. If you want to know what the end result of yoga believers are, look at India. They worship anything from Thesis. You heard it right, they even have a god of Thesis. They don't have any compassion for the poor on the street or children lying in the gutters. For they believe that that person must have done something wrong in the previous life to deserve what they get in this life. Of course, they also worship movie stars or anyone famous who, or who has money, for they must have been great in their previous lives. You see the folly in this belief. Yoga is supposedly a path into transcending the ordinary mind, emergence between who you think you are with your higher God self. So where did yoga originate? It originated from school of thought in the Hindu religion, which suggests that postures can isolate the soul from the body and mind. That's why you do all those stretches with that breathing, because this is what they believe in Hinduism, that um, you can isolate your soul from body and mind by, do by doing yoga. The carrot the carrot people use to get others to start doing yoga is it is just exercise. But any yoga teacher is a Hindu or Buddhist missionary, even if they don't know it. Yoga is part of the New Age science, the Hindu and Buddhist cult, 
New Age says there is no sin, God within. Scripture says in 2 Corinthians 6 verse 14 to 18, Do not be unequally yoked together with unbelievers, for what fellowship has righteousness with lawlessness, and what communion has light with darkness, and what accord has Messiah with Belial, or what part has a believer with an unbeliever, and what agreement has the temple of Yahuwah with idols, for you are the temple of the living Elohim, as Yahuwah has said, I will dwell in them and walk among them. I will be their Elohim, and they shall be my people. Therefore, come out from among them, and be ye separate, says Master Yahuwah. Do not touch what is unclean, and I will receive you. I will be a father to you, and you shall be my sons and daughters, says Yahuwah Almighty. But then you get people who says, Oh, but you get Christian yoga. There is no such thing as Christian yoga. Yoga is part of the Hindu religion and always will be. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 22 says, Abstain from every form of evil. You can see the evilness of the origins of yoga, its roots, so how can you say it's Christian? But let's still delve even deeper. Yoga's goal is self-realization, as we've mentioned. Focus on self. Looking within and then to discover the true self or higher self and then declare self to be God. It is self-worship and self-worship equates to Satan worship. Don't forget, as a Christian you're supposed to belong to Yahushua Messiah, not to yourself. You're supposed to be bought by his blood, aren't you? We read in Galatians 2 verse 20. I have been crucified with Messiah. It is no longer I who live, but Messiah lives in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of Elohim, who loved me and gave himself for me. You see, you don't belong to yourself anymore. It is the Spirit of Yahuwah that now starts to change your life from within by writing the Torah laws on your heart daily. Hava Yoga is one of the six recognized systems of Orthodox Hinduism. The word Hava comes from the Hav, which means to oppress. I just want to correct here, yeah, it's not six recognized, but seven recognized systems of Orthodox Hinduism. As I said, the word Hava comes from the word Hav, which means to oppress. Hava suppresses the flow of psychic energy through psychic passages on either side of your spinal column, thereby to force the serpent power to rise up and down in this channel through the chakras. You cannot separate the stretch movements from the religion and philosophies, for the movements are also meditation. The exercises will pull you towards the Eastern mystical perspectives. There is no neutral yoga. Yoga is one of the basic means to reach an altered state of consciousness. An altered state is the door to the occult. Altered state comes, for instance, by using drugs, doing yoga or hypnosis. The connection between brain and soul and spirit is loosened, which allows another spirit, an evil spirit, to interpose itself and fire off neurons in the brain to create an entire universe of illusions. This is sorcery teaching oneself to be de demonized. And that's what will happen if, to you if you keep on doing yoga. I want to finish off with this verse in Jeremiah, Yermiyahu, 17 verse 5. It says, Thus says Yahuwah, Cursed is the man who trusts in a man, and makes flesh his strength, whose heart departs from Yahuwah. So, don't trust in people's religions, whose thinking were, were influenced by Satan himself. Rather desire and have a relationship with your Creator. It is much more fulfilling anyway. And remember, abstain from every form of evil.